Jean here. Now, as you can see, I'm not in my usual setting. I'm here at my desk. My cameraman, Steve, is out of town on business today, so I thought I'd do something a little different. Now, I was doing a webinar with a couple members earlier this week, and we were talking about Facebook, and I was sharing my screen with them, showing them a couple of things that I do within Facebook when connecting with people online. And they were really surprised at a couple of things I, that I showed them. They're like, I had no idea you could do that. So I thought I'd share a couple of those tips with you today. So here you go. Okay, this is our business Facebook page. And you can see that we have currently 1184 likes. Now Facebook has recently made changes that makes it more difficult for business owners to interact with the people who have actually liked their page. And what you may have seen is that not everyone is seeing your posts anymore. And that's because Facebook has limited our exposure and what they want you to do is actually spend money to boost your post to get it in front of more people. So what I've discovered is that a lot of people actually find me through my personal Facebook page versus liking the business page. So what I'm gonna do is just switch over to my personal account. If you do the drop down here, we'll switch to the personal account. And here's my personal page. And you can see that I have 1118 friends. Now, a lot of these people are cleaning business owners and I don't necessarily know all of them, but as you know, being a cleaning business owner, a lot of times people will find you because you belong to the same industry and so they friend you. And so what I like to do is sometimes mix it up a little bit and post things regarding cleaning comp that you know that would be useful for cleaning company owners on my personal Facebook page. But the problem is my friends and family they really don't care about my postings to cleaning business owners. And so what I like to do is keep that information from them so they don't have to see that. So how do I do that? Well, one of the things that you can do is you can create different lists to put your friends into, and then you can post things that are going to go out to a specific list. So if I want to post something here, you'll see this little drop down here. If I post something right now, it's going to go out to all my friends. So everyone that I'm friends with. However, you can see I have different lists down here. And one of those lists is says cleaning friends. And so now if I want to post something specifically to just my cleaning friends, then that's what I'm going to do is post that here. And then my personal friends and family aren't going to see it. And I don't have to bother their newsfeed with my postings to you guys. So how do I create this list? Well, first of all, I'm going to click on home. I'm going to go to my newsfeed and I'll scroll over here. If you see on the left hand side, you'll see all these different things. You got the newsfeed. Here's um, some of the pages that I have. Here are the groups that I belong to, and you'll see here it says friends. Now, this is hiding some of these, so I'm going to click on more, and you'll see my cleaning friends are right here. So if you want to create a list just for your cleaning friends, then you would just click right here on create list. Now, how do you get people into there? Well, what you would do is click on see all friends, and then you, it brings up your list of friends. And then you just mouse over the friends check here and you can go add to another list. And so this person, Sharon, who many of you probably know, <laughs> is already a cleaning friend. So if they weren't, I could put them into cleaning friends. The other thing you do when you make a new friend is you add them to that list right away. So I'm going to go here and here's a bunch of suggestions for new friends. And here's a person that I'm going to add to my friends list. I can tell he's a carpet cleaner. He's got a little picture of carpet cleaning and there's 30 mutual friends and these are all cleaning people. So I'm going to go ahead and add him as a friend. And now when I go back and mouse over this, I can add him to that list and so I can make him a cleaning friend. So when he does acknowledge that and accept me as a friend, assuming he's going to do that, he'll already be put into my cleaning friends list. So this is a good way if you found that you are connecting with people on your personal page but you're not getting much success with your business page, 
you can do some postings to them um, through your personal page. So what I would do um, for you is you could have a cleaning friends list like I have here, but I would also make a client list. So as you get to know clients and prospects, you can create those lists and then put specific posts out to those people. So that's my Facebook tip for today.